Dear students, today let's discuss about program instructions. Coming to the introduction, improvements in the teaching learning process have always been thought of and efforts have been made to implement the same. Some sort of researches have always been going on in this field with the ulterior motive of all-round development. The chief drawbacks of traditional system of classroom teaching are it does not cater to the needs of all those that are sitting in the class. Some of them are satisfied, some remain dissatisfied. Population explosion has led to overcrowded classrooms and hindering quality education and resulting into a dearth of qualified teachers. Thus, there has been a rise for the demand of individualized teaching which could lead to quality education. In today's high-tech world, there is a need to give instructions in a systematic way and sequence manner to quicken the pace of learning. A program is a device to control the student's behavior and help them to learn without the direct supervision of a teacher. Instruction is the purposeful, orderly, controlled sequencing of experiences to reach a specified goal and program instruction is a presentation of material in a step-by-step -step procedure with knowledge of results and the possibility of different courses through instruction. Thus, a program accepts the responsibility of management of learning situations. Coming to the concept of program instruction, the program instruction method is a highly individualized instructional new strategy for the modification of learner behavior. Though used for instructional purposes, it can also be employed as a mechanism of feedback device for improving teaching efficiency. Its theoretical knowledge is essential to use for the modification of teacher behavior. It is, in fact, a strategy in which various kinds of intellectual, emotional, and motor experiences are provided to the learner in a controlled situation. This technique of instruction was basically developed by B.F. Skinner. This technique is fundamentally based on the principle of reinforcement and self-learning that is, based on the theory of trial and error and operant conditioning. This is a technique of learning in which the learner goes forward himself in the process of learning. Thus, it has contributed a lot in reducing the load of a teacher in formal education system. Coming to the meaning of program instruction, Programming refers to the arrangement of the stimulus material in an order of presentation that would maximize the rate of learning resulting in optimal behavior modification on the prescribed lines. In this method, the material to be learned is arranged in graded units according to the level of difficulty. It is presented in such an order that it results in the best understanding and retention. Thus, a program is a subject matter to be learned by the students while programming is a new method of arranging the subject matter to be picked up by the pupils. In graded steps arranged in a psychological and logical sequence having its meaning dependent on the principles of from concrete to abstract, and from familiar to new. Here, the pupils proceeds from fact to concept. 
Here, the learner's responses are gradually shaped to the desired level or refinement. The origin of programming may be credited to Sidney Pressey, who developed a series of mechanical devices which aims at presenting multiple choice questions to learners after instruction and which gave them immediate answers. It is based on the principle of reinforcement. This method of teaching is an autocratic and individualized strategy. It is based on the psychological principles of operant condition. The responses of the learner are strictly controlled by the programmer. Its main focus is to bring desirable changes in the cognitive domain of the learner's behavior. The structure of teaching method is that the selected content is analyzed and broken into smaller elements. Each element is independent and complete in itself. The programmer develops frames based on each element. Responses are also provided to the learner in the program on some different leaflets. The correct response of the learner is the new knowledge or new behavior. Immediate confirmation of correct response provides reinforcement to the learner and he proceeds to the next frame. Wrong responses require feedback. Physical presence of the teacher is not necessary. He may come to give instructions regarding the program. Students are left for learning at their pace. Thus, even in absence of a teacher, the work of teaching can proceed profitably. The program can be made available in the form of books, cards or machines. Let's take up some definitions of program instructions. Program instruction has been defined as a method of giving individualized instruction in which the student is active and proceeds at his own pace and is provided with immediate knowledge of result. The physical presence of the teacher is not essential in this strategy. Susan Markle in 1969 gave a wider definition of program instruction. It is a method of designing a reproducible sequence of instructional events to produce a measurable and consistent effect on behavior of each and every acceptable student. Now coming to the principles of program instruction. The basic principle of program instruction are as follows. Number one, principle of small steps. Number two, principle of active responding. Number three, principle of feedback. Number four, principle of self-pacing. And number five, principle of error control. Let's discuss each of this principle in detail. Number one, principle of small steps. This principle includes an analysis of content or subject matter to be learned or taught. The subject or skill to be acquired is broken into small steps. Learning takes place most rapidly if the subject matter is presented in small steps so that the success of the student on the new item is ensured. Each step is known as a frame is presented to the student at a time. All the steps are arranged in a logical sequence. Thus, the student proceeds step by step or we can say frame by frame and achieves the terminal objective put before him or her. Learning each frame gives a student a feeling of satisfaction which in turn reinforces his learning. Principle of Active Responding Another principle of program instruction is based on active responding by the students. Learners are made to interact with every bit of information and make a response because the assumption underlying this principle is that 
In order for meaningful learning to occur, a response must be made by the learner and the learner should be actively engaged with the subject matter. Responses may be overt, that is, when learners write the answers, or covert, when learners think out the answers. The principle of feedback. The term feedback means knowledge of results. Experimental evidence supports that principle that the more immediate the reward, better is the learning. The student comes to know immediately whether he is on the right track. Learning accompanied with success or satisfaction is likely to be more permanent than learning accompanied by failure or dissatisfaction. This mechanism is known as controlling the behavior of the student. Principle of self-pacing. Program instruction is based on the assumption that the individual student learns according to his own pace, needs and capabilities. It is student-centered and encourages each student to work at his own speed. Individualized instruction is brought about through self-paced workbooks, branching or scrambled books. Principle of Error Controlled Program instruction is closely linked to the issue of error control. The learning sequence is broken down into a large number of small steps so that the rate of error is kept down to a minimum and allows reinforcement to be frequent and immediate. Formative evaluation of the program helps to reduce errors to a minimum. Thus, it helps to concentrate more on analysis of the student performance rather than on his errors. Let's now discuss the steps of preparation of a program instruction. Preparation of program instruction text involves three stages. Stage 1, preparation. Stage 2, writing the frames and stage 3 evaluation or try out oblique revision now let's discuss each stage in detail stage 1 that is your preparation stage this stage is also known as the planning stage the teacher selects the topic for the program he should be thoroughly familiar with the topic and limit the area to be dealt and decide the suitability of the program. He should identify the objectives and do the content analysis for developing the instructional procedure. Writing objectives here means keeping clear the entering behavior and the terminal behavior, which the program intends to bring about. Developing the criterion test for assessing the performance acquired in the program and to evaluate the attainment of the objectives is also done. Here, identifying the entering behavior describes the abilities and skills which are essential for the instructions leading to new terminal behavior. Stage 2, that is writing the frames. This stage involves designing of the frames, sequencing of the frames and editing the programs. Designing the frames needs to fulfill four components, viz. the stimulus, the response, prompts or cues and the confirmation of results. The stimulus is a small segment of the content that is presented in a frame. The format of a response is generally a blank. The stimulus material of the frame and the response constitutes an SR relationship. Immediate confirmation of results is provided and the correct response is usually given against the next frame. The student compares his response with the given one and if he is correct, he moves ahead. Prompt is a supplementary stimulus which is added to the terminal stimulus to make the item easier. 
it helps the student to give correct response and prevents him from making unnecessary errors. The last stage that is stage 3. Evaluation or try out oblique revision. This is the last stage of the development of the program. It helps the programmer to assess whether the program is an effective instructional tool or not. When the first draft is ready, it should be tried out on several persons and re-edited. The original frame should be typed and their responses given on the back page. Now, it should be given to small group of students. It has to be seen where mistakes are being committed. This will facilitate revision of the frames later. Two types of evaluation are conducted here, the internal and external evaluation. Internal evaluation takes place through field testing, which is conducted on around 15, 30 students. Extensive tryouts and revisions ensure a high quality program. A return record of their responses should be obtained to permit an analysis of error rate for each frame. An achievement test designed specifically for the particular program should be administered. External evaluation helps to determine the worth of the program against some external criteria like number A, 90 by 90 standard, B, cost estimates, and number C, student attitudes. Thus, the steps of program development lead us towards instructional design, which would be equally effective in face-to-face -face as well as distance teaching. Let's now discuss some of the advantages of program instruction. Number one, student is kept active and alert. It makes a student active and self-reliant. He gets good exercise in using new words, concepts, and relationships. And lack of attention is detected immediately. Even if he commits a mistake, he is immediately aware of it and can correct himself. It is individualized learning and the student can proceed at his own pace. Learning is made easy and simple. It makes learning easy and simple because the learning material is presented in small installments due to individualized learning. It motivates a student for further learning. Teacher gets relieved of doing ordinary jobs and he can play the role of a guide, counselor, motivator, organizer, etc. It may help the teacher in reduction of their total load of work. The time thus saved may be utilized by the teacher in some creative activities. A well-programmed self-instructional device is tailored to cater to the needs of individual students of the class. It helps to yield good results as the programs are better prepared and planned material and it is better as compared to traditional teaching method. It gives self-motivation to the students. It also helps to work in an organized and systematic manner without pressuring the students. And each student work at his own interest and pace. Program instruction makes learning interesting. The learning material is presented in such a way that learning becomes an interesting game in which the learner is challenged by his capabilities. The novelty of learning by advice provides extra motivation to the learner. It develops scientific attitudes among the learners because they are able to think rationally and logically. Coming through limitations. No doubt program instruction has a large number of advantages. It also has a few shortcomings. The orthodox teachers who are indifferent to any change in methodology of teaching will not relish accepting program learning material for classroom teaching. 
teacher taught relationship is important but through program learning it is not strengthened some students are not habitual of working at their own and they may not study at all a few of them may become lazy and not want to proceed further there is a need for preparing suitable programs for the learners in the indian situations which is not possible and will be quite expensive too now in conclusion we can say that in program instruction the main emphasis is on individual differences and students involvement there is no fixed time interval for learning students learn at their own pace learning by doing maxim of teaching is followed to involve learners in the learning process students are exposed only to correct response therefore possibility to commit errors is reduced immediate confirmation of the results provides reinforcement to the learners and encourages the learners to proceed further feedback is provided to wrong answers so that learner is able to develop mastery over the content thus program instruction has revolutionized the theory of practice of teaching in the last decade it is rich in potential it is expected that programming skills may become a part of every teacher's methodology it is also possible that the backbone of tomorrow's instructional textbooks and program sequence become an integral part of most textbooks